So let's take a look at the fascinating effects we can achieve using the PSP Echo. Echo is designed to emulate classic analog tape delays, although it can do much more than its analog counterparts can do. Later in this video, I'll dig deeper into how each section of the plugin works. But first, let me show you some examples and presets so you can get an idea of the kinds of sounds you could get using Echo. On this clean electric guitar, I'm going to enable PSP Echo, then set up the left side delay to be at the 16th note, the right side to the 8th note, and then I'll use the tap tempo feature to figure out its tempo easily. Now, with my feedback set and some filters applied to the delays, I'll turn up the wet signal so you can hear this beautiful delay space around the guitar. In this example, you're listening to a live drum kit, completely dry, but I've set some extra feedback, narrowed the stereo image, narrowed the filters, and hyped the input. Have a listen to what these drums sound like through the PSP Echo now, set to 100% wet. Furthermore, with the link switch on, I can push the drive knob further to get some extreme lo-fi effects. Here, I've got an R&B drum loop playing, and I'm going to pass it through PSP Echo with some extreme drive settings to emulate fully driven analog tape saturation. Here's an ambient acoustic track, and I'll turn up the wet control to get a whole new dimension on this track. I'll then turn the wow up. Here's an extreme setting of 10. And here's a more realistic setting of two with a frequency slightly above one hertz for a classic tape wow effect. Here's a dry electric guitar. Let's switch PSP echo on and turn the dry signal off so we can study the stereo controls. The bottom section of the plugin is divided into the dry controls and the wet controls. When the wet spread knob is set to S+, you're getting the default stereo delay. If the knob is set to M, both sides are summed to the center. If the knob is set to S-, the sides are reversed, with the left side delay going to the right channel and vice versa. Then you can use the balance knob to isolate just one channel or the other. Then you can bring the dry signal back in and mix to taste. PSP Echo can do classic ping pong delays. In this example, my dry guitar is playing a single note on beat one of every measure. Let's bring up the wet signal of PSP Echo, and you'll hear the guitar echoing at the quarter note on both sides, with some feedback. Adjust ping pong to plus three, and now the guitar is going to start to ping pong from side to side. Now let's feed it a full guitar riff and play with tape speed settings. Echo defaults to 15 inches per second, but here's the same ping pong delay working at half speed. And here's the same ping pong delay at double speed. Listening to this dry country rock drum track, in a moment we'll apply a preset called Holly Tape. This preset shows some drive saturation coupled with some tightly filtered delays to get some fascinating analog ghosting effects. Here's without PSP Echo. And here's with PSP Echo again. Here's 
Here's a dry rhythm guitar part, and I'll apply the uneven preset, which utilizes all time and pan spreading effects to give us a nice, thicker guitar texture. PSP Echo includes a rare and highly useful musical feature which many other delay units don't have, a ducker. You can show the ducker by clicking here. A ducker intelligently turns down the echo effect when there's a lot of activity coming in from the dry input, then brings the echo back when there's less input. Right now you're listening to a guitar riff completely dry. If I activate PSP Echo without the ducker, you'll hear that the echoes are all over the guitar riff creating a sense of clutter. But now, I'll enable the ducker. Have a listen to the echoes now. They only occur in between the dry notes, and they're not superimposed on top of them. Here's without the ducker. And here's with. The ducker gently mutes the echoes when the playing is busier. The LED over here to the right shows when the ducker is opening and closing. And you can control the ducker's speed in more detail by using the open and close knobs. This is a great way to use PSP Echo, for example on a soloist track, to add dimensions when it's sparse, but not clutter up the sound when it's dense. Now that you've heard some audio examples of what PSP Echo can do, here's a quick guided tour of the other major areas of its interface so that you can understand what each part does. PSP Echo has two separate channels of delay. The delay times are set here. The delays can be synced either to delays specified in milliseconds or to the host BPM, like I have it set here. In the lower left corner, there's a link switch. When this is on, adjusting a knob on one side adjusts the other. But if you unlink the sides, you can now adjust the left side and the right side independently. When you change the delay times or other settings in the plugin, PSP Echo warps time just like a real analog delay. The feedback knob on each side causes the delay to feedback into itself, producing more delay repetitions. You can use the feedback pan knob to send the feedback signal into the same channels, or both channels, or opposite channels. If you push the feedback beyond 0 dB, you can get some really interesting extreme delay effects. Watch me turn feedback up to the maximum, then stop playback. If things start to feedback too much, you can hold the mouse over the PSP Echo logo, which serves as a panic button. This area underneath the feedback knobs allows you to introduce analog style filters to the delays. The high pass filter is on the left, the low pass filter is on the right. And this area in the middle allows you to click and drag to move the filters in opposite or parallel directions. At the bottom of the plugin, these three controls let you adjust the spread balance, and level of the dry, unaffected channel. And these three controls let you adjust the same parameters for the wet, delayed side. And there's a little bonus feature for gear nuts. Click on the PSP logo at the bottom to show a full signal flow diagram of the plugin. And that's an overview of PSP Echo a versatile and high-quality echo processor inspired by some classic analog tape delay units.